Always there has been an adventure just around the corner. And the world is still full of corners. Welcome to the new chapter of Stefano Ricci Explorer, Mission Mongolia. We came to this mythical country to discover one of the largest empires in the world. The land of Genghis Khan, of the Altai Mountains, of the Gobi Desert, and of course of the Kazakh Eagle Hunters. This chapter of the Stefano Ricci Explorer program brings us to Mongolia, one of the last truly wild and unexplored places on the planet. And you're, you're truly a world apart. In fact, the only sound that you will hear is the wind blowing across the steps, the crunch of snow under your boot, and occasionally the cry of the golden eagle as it circles above you. Leaving this unique experience, on the top of the Altai Mountains is really helping us to understand how the steppe people were living hundreds of years ago. And in this quietness is where the trading of silk started and actually we could say that luxury was going through this place already hundreds of years ago. When we first launched the Stefano Ricci campaign with the eagle as its focus, we had a focus on three values, honor, power, and pride. And today, being able to bring our team, our looks, and continue the Stefan Rich Explorer concept is really something special. Scattered across this primordial landscape are the eagle hunters who live off the land. And for me, it's been an incredible experience to come with the Stefano Ricci team back here to a place that I've spent many, many hours photographing. Part of our mission is also to explore the relationship within the wildlife and the people that interact with them. We feel privileged to be in these beautiful mountains in Altai and having the chance to spend time with these people, their roots goes back to 1600. And what is so fantastic is to know that the eagle hunters, their main symbol for them, of course, is the eagle, and that too is the symbol of Stefano Ricci. <laughs> The eagle has been for over 30 years the symbol of our company. And today, as Stefano Ricci, we are willing to support the Mongolian Eagle Protection Plan in order to look after these amazing creatures that are living here in Mongolia. The Silk Road was created in order to connect the city of Xi'an in China with the ancient Rome. As Italians, we are proud of our great history. Marco Polo was uh, an explorer, an adventurer who visited these lands. He was a merchant of Venice who opened the eyes of the West to the wonders of the Orient. Being here today and understanding that through this land, the silk was brought from China through Europe is really something special. So the same silk is still used within our looms in our factory. And if you close your eyes, sometimes you'll swear you can hear the thundering hooves of Genghis Khan's cavalry as it gallops off to Europe, China, and India. We are at the Genghis Khan statue complex, very excited to be within this warrior and can you imagine back hundreds of years ago when this was real? When you had warriors coming through the valley trying to defend their country, how this was a part of history, and now, of course, in bronze, but we can leave it again. When we talk about Mongolia, we can't help not talking about uh, the Genghis Khan dynasty. Genghis Khan, 
born in the 13th century with a real name, Temujin. He was a spiritual leader. He was a warrior focused on building his empire, putting together his nomadic tribes and reopening the Silk Road. And today, his legend still survives. You feel a great sense of peace in this uh, location. Here we are at Aryabal Temple. One of its peculiarities is that it has been built as an elephant head shape. For the first time, I had a chance to meet the Lam, which are the Mongolian monks. In this temple, anyone can come and meditate and pray or listen and learn the teaching of Buddhism. The great thing about exploring this beautiful, vast world is that you end up finding your true self, which is the greatest exploration of all. Every creative mind needs times in their life to focus on their inner self, to replenish their soul. Coming to this magical country of Mongolia, I found what I was looking for for a long time. I rediscovered myself, and this will for sure guide me towards some new creations. And perhaps one day, if I am lucky enough and explore hard enough, who knows, perhaps even enlightenment. The Three Camel Lodge is giving us the opportunity to experience a luxury lifestyle in the desert, while maintaining the highest standard for sustainable tourism. 120 million years ago, this was a humid paradise populated with the most incredible dinosaurs. We are now in Bayanzag. This place is also known as the Red Flaming Cliffs in the Gobi Desert. This land is famous for the unique colors that uh, during sunset the sandy rocks get. And it was named by the famous explorer, Roy Chapman Andrews. Now Andrews was a colorful, charismatic, swashbuckling character. And it's said that he was the inspiration for the movie character, Indiana Jones. He found a nest containing 90 million year old dinosaur eggs. Mongolia is truly a land of surprises. This is the legendary Gobi that in Mongolia means desert. Popularly known as the singing dunes due to the noise that is made by the strong blowing winds in this area among the dunes. Today we've just completed a remarkable photo shoot in one of my favorite places, the sand dunes of the Gobi Desert. We were here before sunrise and watched the sun come up and these amazing, remarkable shadows unfold. And it's a great privilege for me to be a part of this Explorer campaign. This is the last set of this mission where we have been looking to the future while respecting heritage and traditional values. This is a testament to the fact that uh, we are not in the middle of nowhere, but uh, we find ourselves in the heart of what has been the real birthplace of the first living creatures and living beings on Earth. This recalls our path and our journey. Explore the world to explore ourselves.